chased him, but he fled. But if I told my dad, he'd say, It's, it's all inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The washing machine. Look at that, Simka. They're showing Titanic on the television. Hey, no, like, that's not a television. That's a machine for washing laundry. No way. Yeah, it's just a plain old washing machine, Nola, don't you know? Uh-uh. Tell me about it. You're such a great explainer. <laughs> Inside of a washing machine is a big drum. People put their dirty laundry in there and add a special kind of soap called detergent. When they turn the washing machine on, the drum fills with water, and then the motor starts to spin the drum. That makes the laundry rub together, forcing the soapy water in and the dirt out to make your clothes clean. After that, all that's left is to get out the water by spinning the drum really fast and sending the water down the drain. Oh, thanks a lot, Simka. I always wondered, why would you want to put laundry inside a television? Are you joking with me? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I'll show you a funny joke. Get over here. Shh, it's Tom Thomas's mother. She's got headphones on, we're safe. She doesn't hear anything except the music. Now she'll come back, add the soap, turn on her television, and watch the second part of the movie. Again with the jokes. This time I'm really gonna let you have it. <laughs> Whoa! Nolik, just do what I say. I came up with a plan. What's your plan? To run away! Whoa! <laughs> Who's here? Hello? Huh. things to keep in mind with a washing machine to use it right. For example, do you know what can happen if you wash red and white shirts together? Well, the white one might just turn pink. No, it's not because it's embarrassed, but because some of the color from the red shirt happened to get onto the white one. Another important thing to remember is to empty your pockets before you wash your clothes. Things like keys, nails, and chewing gum might not only ruin your clothes, but they can destroy the washer too. And this isn't only about little stuff. Big things like music players and mobile phones have managed to find their way into the washing machine. Oh, sure, these things look nice and clean after a good washing, but they certainly don't seem to want to work anymore. And never, ever put a pet inside of a washing machine. That's just no place for a living thing. You know what, Simka? I've never been laundered in my entire life. We better get out of here, Nolik, right now. And the faster, the better. <sighs> Come on, let's get going. And what about Chusaka? What about Chusaka? Let her get washed up a little in there. Maybe it'll make her nicer. But she could drown the poor thing. I don't think we can do this alone. We should get help from Tom Thomas's mother. One, two, stop! What? She moved out of the way. And three. What is that? Oh, my goodness! 
little baby. How did you get in there? You wait right here in the tub and I'll go get you a towel. So, you wild little beast. Looks like we saved your life. We're friends now? No, it sure doesn't look like she wants to be our friend. So what do we do now? Same old plan. Run! The Pack-A-Mat. Uh, Simka, can I have the Pack-A-Mat? I'd like to practice with it a little before the exam. Take it! <gasps> You're really good with that thing. Good. I couldn't be any worse with it. I wanted a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Actually, you were pretty close there. You did manage to get the hose, at least. <laughs> this is not at all funny. In order to get a tool out of a pac a Fixie must not only press the button on his chest, but he must also clearly picture exactly the tool he needs. By the time they are adults, this is easy for Fixies to do. But while they're children, they must study hard to master this important skill. As Fixies learn about new tools, they take exams to prove they know how they work. And if they pass an exam, the new tool is added to their pack of mats. And there's no end to what you can find inside. Screwdrivers, hammers, ladders, vacuums, and even soldering irons. But many of the tools that Fixies use look quite different from the ones that humans have. And the reason for this is very simple. It's because Fixies have to fix appliances that are much bigger than they are. Uh, I just wish I knew which tool was going to be on that exam. I got it! You just stay right here! Grandpus! What? Um, on the exam, which tool are you going to ask about? It's a secret. Uh, it's too bad. But I'm sure you can keep a secret, right? Of course. Then I'll tell you. Today's exam is on pliers, you see? You won't tell anyone, will you? Not a chance. Uh, I'll never pass it. You will! He's gonna ask about pliers. Huh? How could you know that? It's a secret. <laughs> okay, Digit. See if you can get the pliers out of there. A pair of pliers is a great tool indeed. To grab and turn things, it's the tool that you need. Just be careful how you use them, or your fingers, you could bruise them. Thanks a lot, Nolik. It's not really me you should be thanking. <sighs> Krampus, thanks a lot. For what? The secret. What secret? About the pliers. Oh, that. You know, I picked a new topic. Um, I decided that a hammer will be the tool. A hammer? Only it's a secret. I remember. <sighs> the topic I changed. It's a hammer. You sure about that? Totally. All right. I'll try to do it. A hammer is a great tool indeed. To pound in nails, it is the tool that you need. Just be careful how you use it, or your finger, you could bruise it. A hammer is a great tool indeed. Super. I'm sure you're going to pass. That's only if he asks me about a hammer. I'll be right back. <gasps> Grandpoos, it's a hammer for sure? Nah. A hammer would be way too easy for those kids. So now it is a drill. A drill? But only... It's a secret! <laughs> now I know. There's no doubt about it at all. It's a drill! Uh... A drill is such a great tool indeed. To drill a hole, it is the tool that you need. Just be careful how you use it, or your finger, you could lose it. A drill is such a great tool indeed. And if it's not a drill? Right! Hammers, wrenches, drills, screwdrivers, vices, mallets, saws, and pliers. All of these are super-duper great 
tools, yes indeed. That's all. That's enough of this. I'll just go and take the exam. Yeah. Digit, come on in. Um, Professor, well, what do you want to ask me on today's exam? Nothing. You already passed. What? You mean you're not going to ask me anything at all? No need. You're excellent at getting tools out of a pack mat But how could you know that? That's a secret. And we Fixies sure know how to keep secrets. The Piggy Bank. Mwah. Tom Thomas, why are you throwing away your money? That's not what I'm doing. I'm storing it. This is a piggy bank. Oh, here's another coin. I don't like its snout. That's one very suspicious looking pig. Are you positive your money's safe with her? Don't worry. Whatever I put into my bank here is not getting back out. This piggy bank won't give up a cent. You greedy piggy! Come on, Nolik. Simka must have taught you about how banks work. Humans came up with the idea of piggy banks because they wanted a good place to save their coins. For storing lots of money, people use a safe, a large metal box with a very strong lock. Now that kind of piggy bank's almost impossible to break open. The biggest safes are in banks. Banks use them to store their customers' money and other valuables. There are even safes in banks that are whole rooms. You'd need an awful lot of change to fill up one of these piggy banks. So why are you saving up all this money? For roller skates. How much more do you need to save? I don't know. I can't see if there's enough in there. Then just go and open it. But there's no way to do that. The only way is to smash it real hard. So smash it. Yeah, -uh, forget it. I have nothing to put my money into. But what if there's already enough for roller skates? And what if there's not? All right, then I guess I'll count your money for you. Tidish! Oh, whoa! Tom Thomas, you've got a fortune in here! There are many different kinds of money, and they're not just coins either. Long ago, people paid each other with shells and squirrel skins and even parrot feathers. And of course, metal coins are more convenient than any of those things. And paper money is even more convenient than coins. One piece of paper can be worth as much as a hundred coins or even a thousand. All that needs to be done is to print more zeros on it and that's all. Today, humans can pay for almost anything without paper money or coins whatsoever. If you have enough money in the bank, you can just walk into a store, give the cashier your bank card, and take your purchase home with you without handing over any money. The bank knows how much money you spend, and they pay the store for you later. It's so convenient. So, will you count them? Here we go. One coin! And two coins! Wait, Nolik, what one coin, two coins? What are you counting? You have to add together all of the different numbers. Huh. You should have told me that before. Uh, I never learned how to. Yeah, that's what I figured. Come on out. What can I do? What if you try stacking the coins so they're like stairs? That's what I'm already doing. Why don't you try tilting the piggy bank over? Hang on. Stop! I'm getting buried! Put it back the way it was before! This is worse! Ah! Just put the pig down! No, look, hang in there, please. I'll get some thread and lower it down to you. What? Just smash your piggy bank. But I like it. And what, you don't like me? Of course I like you. Well, who do you like more? You're my friend, aren't you? 
Of course. Then smash the piggy bank, will you? Okay, Nolik. I'm gonna do it. Nolan, are you okay? I'm okay. <sighs> Thank you, Tom Thomas. Thank you, my friend. No problem. At least now you can count up how much money you have. Nah, there's no reason to do it. There's no way it's enough for roller skates. You sure? What a shame. But now you've got all of this money here to buy a piggy bank that's totally brand